so types of mobile applications lot of people has a lot of things like i am using iphone i am using android i am using something else what is those all things so normally whenever the people are going to consider what type of application they want to do or what kind of you know application they want to launch this is a state of a logic is that either it can be the native or that it can be the web or it can be the hybrid mobile apps native mobile app web or hybrid so what does means native web and hybrid and these things so native application in the sense it works on those specific devices only where has web and hybrid in the sense it's a different kind of let's enter into this one so native apps web apps hybrid apps what does means by the native app native app is exactly render the proper binary code to the specific operating system that means if i am designing a application for apple if i am designing a application for the apple then whatever the binary is generated that binary is compatible to only apple devices not other than that if i am implementing a native or binary code for android then so if the binary is generated for the android then it will compatible to only android devices that is going to call as a native so most popular devices going to use like you know apple samsung huawei or oppo or oneplus these all are what native specific so what's going to happen in the native app whatever the binary you are going to generate that binary is compatible to that specific operating system don't think about the hardware dependent here apple only the device which is compatible to their software and their hardware whereas in other partner like android if you consider it is a open source anyone can use hardware dependency will not there so whenever you are targeting your users or the specific operating systems only then native apps will be generated so whenever you are developing a app for ios so whatever the native you are generating or whatever the binary code you are going to generate it that binary code is specific to the apple only it doesn't work for the android so whenever you are implementing a app for android that will work for android only it's not going to work for the native then come to the second one web app is a typical website is a simple website okay so this is a simple website and this website is nothing but is a mobile compatible like yesterday we said if you open this particular app in the desktop browser then it will work like a normal website where you are going to work same website in the mobile browser then it will give you what is that compact view <laughs> responsive thing so it is a web app and the final one is what hybrid so hybrid it's typical so hybrid in the sense whenever i am generating the hybrid code is a common common code for both apple and android for both code is a common but the problem is here you have to generate the different binary for both devices for example i will give you something like we are going to use a cordova or react so this code will be generated in the hybrid like what language let's say H html5 so if this code is implemented in html5 or react so this code base is not going to change so if is going to implement in the html5 or the react this code base is not changed code is same for ios android but whenever you are going to compile or whenever you are going to generate the binary of that one you have to compile that binary on the specific system for example whatever the html5 or react based application was generated if i compile this particular code on the mac operating system then it will generate the code for the mac compatible that means apple devices 
same code if i am going to compile on the windows machine or linux machine on the android tool then it will generate the android binary code which can be used for that one so native app in the sense the binary whatever the generated it is a compatible to specific operating systems only and it is not going to support the cross platform whereas a web application in the sense it looks like a simple website it looks like a simple website it can be the web, web browser or it can be a desktop browser anyone can access that one you no need to worry about any kind of deployment you no need to worry about any kind of app store some right straight away it will work whereas a hybrid app in the sense it is completely different it can be implemented based on the cordova or html5 or react or some blah 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 so many languages are there whenever you are going to implement any hybrid application whatever the binary is generated that binary has to be specific that means if i'm code base will be same for android and ios code will not change code is same maximum 99% code will be same that code generated binary will be changed depends on the os let's say i want to deploy this particular hybrid and hybrid app on the ios devices then i have to compile this code on the mac system to generate the ipa file for apple compatible devices same thing same hybrid if i want to go with <coughs> android then i have to compile the android devices then it is going to implement according to this one this is the basic structure of any kind of mobile apps so native apps web app or hybrid app web app web app doesn't going to consider as a mobile app web app is a simple website it can be the compact website responsive website or it can be the normal website depends on the client so if the client is requesting a normal desktop it is a normal desktop whereas client is requesting from mobile then you will get a responsive view apart from that nothing is going to happen okay we will go enter internally and we'll check what are the things or what are the factors are there for this particular process so we have three type of applications maybe native app maybe web app maybe hybrid app then characteristics of native apps when you consider the characteristics of native app a binary executable image that explicitly downloaded and stored on the system for the mobile devices for example if you are using a iphone what's going to happen if you are using a iphone simply you are going to download the file from the app store so if you are using the android app you will download that particular file from the google play store so if you are using hybrid application still it has a ipa still it has the apk but the condition is what at the time of generating the ipa or at the time of generating the apk file we are compiled that particular code on that specific system only so corresponding binary will be generated from that particular store like windows mobile has a windows store apple mobile has apple store whereas a similar kind of huawei also introduce their own store huawei store in upcoming days okay then the next one distributions whenever you are going to consider as a native app distribution should be happen through their stores only if you are generating a native app for the apple you have to distribute your apple to the app store only that is itunes true so if you are implementing an android app that app has to be dis distributed through google play store and executed directly by the operating system always the native application is faster than the remaining application and it will execute it directly on operating system because whatever the api we are going to use that api directly interacting with the operating system in the native apps then <clears throat> launch it from the home screen you will get a icons so with the icons you can launch if it is a web browser you have to launch the application from the website address bar whereas a native application you can launch directly from the home screen then does not require any other continuation app that means whenever i am using some third party application i need some other apps but if you are going to work on the native application it will directly run on your operating system much more smoother than the norm then makes explicitly use of operating system api this is the final goal of the native application so native applications are going to distribute through their own stores and it will execute at the binary directly on operating system it has to be launched from the home screen icons and does not require any additional software to run those application those are going to call as what native applications then 
how the native application development will happen it is a typical diagram i will explain you in the details how it is going to work so consider the native app development irrespective of thing don't consider i am teaching ios android consider the overall native application how it is going to work so <clears throat> here is a software code that means whatever the code you are going to implement that code corresponding to your language if it is ios app you will have ios code if you are android app and so here is a source code here is a developer and these are the resources like if you are using images if you are using the font files if you are using any file system if you are using any resources everything will go here so source code and resources everything is there at the development point of view whatever the source code you are going to give that source code is going to compile and link once the source code is compiled and link it will go to the sdk sdk in the sense what software development kit where we have all the api calls or all the methods what we are using <clears throat> so your source code will compile and link it will pass to the sdk sdk will generate a binary file and this binary file will be linked with the images and once it is linked with the images then it will create a what distributed package so once the distributed package is constructed then it can go to according to their store if it is apple it will goes to the app store if it is a device it will goes to the play store android based if it is a windows it will goes to the windows store if it is a blackberry it goes to the blackberry if it is a huawei application it will goes to the huawei store this is a typical flow you are going to construct the source code you are going to manage the resources once your code is compiled it is generated in the compiler and linker it will goes to the sdk and it will generate the package and the package will be created distributed package and through that particular distributed packages automatically it is going to render the rest of things okay now go to the specific things how how it's going to work internally now consider our ios app development this is the flow what we discuss then what is the additional thing for ios number one the code whatever you are going to implement that code will comes in the shift or object you see some of the times maybe c and c plus plus also because we need some kind of kernel programming it will work on the shift so whatever the source code you are going to construct that source code will be there in the shift or object you see it can be a shift or object you see and the second one whatever the tool we are going to use it is x code so what i discussed in earlier slide in earlier slide if you consider source code will be there and the source code will be compiled and it will link and it will generate the binary in a similar fashion when you consider this one you are going to write the code in shift or objective c sometimes c and c plus plus that code will compile and link through x code okay then it is going to generate a binary for the x code and this one will goes to the app store directly then if you consider the android development same process now the code will be implemented in the java or the kotlin okay the code will be implemented in the java or kotlin and who is going to compile and link in the sense android studio will compile so android studio is compiled and link the code once android studio is compiled and link the code it is constructed executed binary and that executed binary will be created a package and that package will be created as a distribution package this is a basic flow of that particular android application so if it is ios application we will generate the application based on the simple strategy we will use the basic op language like shift or objective c and xcode will be compile the code for us and xcode will be generated the sdk packages everything and you can distribute to the app store whereas in android the code is going to generate it in the java or kotlin and the android studio will compile and link the code then it will construct the sdk and the package will goes to the play store google play store this is a basic difference then what is the advantage of native versus web so here if you consider multiple factors will be come so many people see there is no any you know specific thing that okay i want to do with the native i want to go with the hybrid i want to go with the web 
so this is completely purely depends on some factors so you can't suggest to your client that you have to go for the native you can't suggest your client to go with the web you can't suggest your client to the go to the hybrid app also because it depends on lot of the factors so it depends on those factors client will decide what they need for example if you consider a native and the mobile or web so if it is a native app access is a full access that means user can do anything is a full access can be provided but if it is a web partial access there is one drop speed if you consider the performance of the application native application always gives high performance of anything even though if you consider the hybrid application also even though you consider the hybrid application also this particular native application will gives very fast access whereas a web also gives a fast one but you can't compare with what native application cost in the point of cost when you are designing a native application it is expensive it is expensive because you need to maintain a proper development team for example if i want to develop a native application for my business i need two different teams if i am targeting only ios and android i need two different teams that means two different teams has to be pay the salary and the two different teams has to be engaged so it is you no know, it's it's like cost related thing it is expensive when you compare with the rest of thing but is a web is a reasonable <clears throat> if it is a reasonable okay cost is reasonable but revenue rate also reasonable if you consider the yesterday's uh, concept the retail e-commerce behavior when the web application is there when the mobile application is there always we are expecting the better revenue better conversion rate when the native apps when the mobile apps are there so if you consider the cost of that particular development it can be reasonable but again the revenue also can be reasonable so it is expensive but you will get the more revenue from the native application then app stores so this is available in the app store like if it is a native app of ios it will available in the app store if it is a native app of android then it is available in the google play store but if it is a web you no need to worry about what if it is a web it is not going to access on the particular so you no need to store anything it will directly address based like open the website www.somethingxyz.com it is accessible you no need to publish anything on the web then approval if it is a native application must and should approval will be there from the corresponding stores if it is apple it will take hardly 3 days or 2 days to approve your application on the binary level because you know security is very important one of the concern which we discussed yesterday also whenever we are going to design the native app security is very important so in your native application if you have some malware running or some like because it's a e-commerce application or travel app user will be enter the information banking information or some secure information user going to enter and you know some kind of applications will hack that information if you are using any third party tools internally maybe possibilities to hack that information and it will send so what's going to happen when you are going to develop the native application the store provider like apple store or the google play store they will scan the entire application flow each binary code they will scan don't think manually it's going to scan there are the some automated scripts will be there so whenever you are going to upload your app to the corresponding store that automatic scripts will be run and it is going to scan your application if there is nothing wrong in your application then they are going to approve otherwise this application will be deleted for example in the recently past few days you heard a news like android i mean google play store is removing so many application from the google play store because they are breaking old i mean breaking the rules that means breaking in the rules it's not doesn't say okay they are not following the rules breaking in the rules internally the privacy privacy user privacy they are breaking maybe they are capturing some additional information from the user or they are misusing the user information that's why those applications will be deleted from the play stores or the google stores but before see before providing that one initially they will scan the application they will read your binary then they are going to give the approval but if it is a web application 
you no need any kind of approval just launch the just design the website host into server and distribute the website url to client then it will work but revenue rate is always lesser when you are consider about the web applications so you no need any approval for this one this is the basic behavior of this Okay. Uh, Paul, 